So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on Finkels and Dawson joining Spennymore Town on a season-long loan. Now, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. 70 likes, as always, would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button. Get your thoughts on this departure as well down in the comment section down below. For me, personally, I think it's a good move for him, depending on the level of the National League North. I personally personally would have liked to see him go to the Vanarama National League but unfortunately he has gone to the Vanarama National League North if it means he gets more game time though I guess from that point of view it does kind of make sense but make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so Bradford City tweeted today at 1 p.m saying breaking news at Cousin Finn has today joined National League North outfit spending more town on a season-long loan all the best Finn the article does then read Cousin Dawson departs on loan Finn Cousin Dawson is today joined Vanarama National National League North outfit spending more town on a season long loan. The young defender, a Northern Ireland under 21 international, has made five pre season appearances in Claret and Amber and will now spend the 22 23 campaign in County Durham. Cousin Dawson, 20, has appeared 40 times for the Bantams to date, having graduated from City's Academy in 2020. Bradford City at AFC would like to wish Finn the very best throughout his spell at Spennymore Town. Now, there was four players who got pro contracts around a similar time. Finn Cousin Dawson, Reece Staunton, Kean Scales and George Sikora. Obviously, George Sikora was actually on loan at Spennymore Town last year. He since went, went to FC United of Manchester and I believe he's now vice-captain at Geisley or something like that. Reece Staunton has had numerous injuries and it hasn't really worked out. He was on trial with Halifax Town the other game, uh, the other day, sorry, against Chesterfield. So it'll be interesting to see if anything does materialise with that. Kean Scales, I think, when he has played for the first team, looks quite good. You know, he's high energetic, decent on the ball, but doesn't really look like he's going to get much of a look in. But obviously, Spenny Moore did tweet at 1 p.m. today saying, "Breaking, we are delighted to announce the signing of highly rated young defender Finn Cousin Dawson on a season-long loan from Bradford City." Their article does then read, "Moore's clinch deal for Cousin Dawson, Anthony Johnson, and." Bert Bernard Morley have moved to strengthen their defensive option with the signing of versatile defender Finn Cousin Dawson on a season-long loan from Bradford City. A Northern Ireland under-21 international, he is comfortable slotting in at right back or in the centre of defence and has also operated in a holding role in midfield on occasions in the past. The majority of the time when he has played for Bradford City, he has played as a right back in particular last season. We'll get onto some more of his in-depth stats in a moment. He's played centre-half for the odd 20-minute, 15-minute appearance so far throughout pre-season and the only time he played holding midfield was, I believe, away to Bolton Wanderers under Stuart McCall in that season behind closed doors. We actually thought he was a natural holding midfielder, but ever since he's really come into the first team, he has, for the majority of the time, played at right back. The highly rated 20-year-old has graduated through the ranks of the Bantams Academy, and after starring on loan for Brighouse Town in 2019-20, he was offered a first professional contract. Cousin Dawson went on to make his senior debut for City in the EFL Trophy in September 2020, and he remained part of the first team squad, making a total of 26 appearances in the 20 slash 21 campaign he actually I think that's the most amount he's played in a season I think he only played 11 or so times last year in the league I'm not too sure how many including cup games but his performances were also enough to earn him an extended deal at the utility energy stadium it is actually now called the University of Bradford Stadium as he put pen to paper on a three and a half year extension last January that does expire at the end of next season I do believe so it needs to go out on loan take this loan spell by you know the scruff of the neck and really impress out of spending him on become you know first choice right back next season if he really wants to get an, you know, another new contract. The defender was once again in and around the first team during City's League 2 campaign last season, but boss Mark Hughes is now keen for him to get further senior experience out on loan. Finn is a player we were aware of last season and who has been in and around the first team at Bradford, explained Anthony Johnson. He's a Northern Ireland international at under-21 level, I may add, and he's versatile in terms of being able to operate anywhere across the back four, but it's striking that at just 20 years of age, he's already played over 30 games at League 2 level. You can see how highly thought of he is at Bradford and how well he's done when he's played. So to be honest, it came as a bit of a shock that we could bring him in. It's a major coup for us as a club, especially to get him in for the season. I definitely would agree with that. He'll be one of the best right backs in the league going into the National League North. I definitely thought he would have gone to a National League side, especially with how much he's played in League Two for the past couple of seasons. We love having players who can play two or three positions, which is obviously very key, especially in non-league, when you can't have the biggest squad because your players are part-time and all that sort of stuff. It is good to have 
have versatile options but that does mean you can adapt during games or cut better when you get injuries so we're really excited to bring him in Bradford have been brilliant I spoke to Ryan Sparks and he's been amazing with us you always try to build relationships with clubs in higher divisions and hopefully we can go back to them and show we've looked after Finn well and they will be open to helping us again in the future it's all about those relationships and networking at any level of football so we have to offer a massive thank you to Bradford for their help Cousin Dawson is now expected to play some part in Saturday's final pre-season game against AF, uh, sorry, against Trafford at the Home Estates Shawview Stadium. So quite an interesting stadium name there. But if we have a look at his statistics from last season, he played 11 matches, starting a averaging 69 minutes per game. If you have a look at his passing stats, he got one assist throughout the 21-22 season. Averaged 45 touches per 90, created one big chance. 0.4 key passes per game with a 56% passing accuracy. Kept zero clean sheets, averaged 1.5 interceptions per game 1.5 tackles per game 2.3 clearances per game as well now I don't think he's the greatest on the ball going forward you know that is definitely somewhere where he needs to improve he does sometimes struggle to bomb on and be an attacking right back and deliver and get cross into the box defensively I think he's actually all right at league two level you know there is some good league two wingers at this level and I think he's coped fairly well in most games that he has played there has been a few games where you know he's been skinned a couple of times and it hasn't been the greatest display from him but I think for such a young lad to play how many appearances he has in League 2 it tells you how highly Bradford City must rate him but the fact we've got four or five right backs now we've got Brad Halliday Luke Hendry Oscar Threlkeld obviously Finkel and Dawson we also had Harvey Rowe coming in from the academy as well so it only really made sense to get Cousin Dawson out on loan he was never really going to play that much this season so it does make sense for him to go out on loan get some game time and all that sort of stuff because it's not exactly a bad level to play you know it's a very physical league is a national league north but you do also have some teams who play at that level who are decent on the ball you know they play some nice stuff you know I've seen that first hand in a couple of times that I've seen Bradford Park Avenue not necessarily at Park Avenue teams like Brackley I think were you know a joy to watch they were very good so fingers crossed you know he does him well he plays week in week out because that's what I would expect there's no real point him going to a national league north a level who most Bradford City fans would probably look at that and go he's probably playing at the level below what he should be playing at for this stage in his career for the amount of games he has played in League 2 we all kind of expected him to go to the National League especially with it looking highly likely Reece Staunton will be going out to the National League and he's only played a handful of times in League 2 as always I'm going to wish all the best to Finn you know this is his time now where he grabs the lone move by the scruff of the neck he really kicks on tonight was actually meant to be the Brighouse away match day vlog because this news has happened I'm not really planning on going now because there's no point in uploading this video then uploading the vlog later and we'll also have the Doncaster Rovers match day vlog out tomorrow. If you didn't already check out my match preview for that and all my League 2 score predictions for game week one, make sure you check that out. That video went out over there yesterday at 4 o'clock. But that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on it. 70 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. Thank you very much once again for 6,000 subscribers, but we are now on the road to 7,000. So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Finkers and Dawson joining Spenny Moore Town on a season long loan no mention as well if there is an option to recall him at any point but with it being the National League North their transfer windows open from now until I think it's the end of March or maybe the end of April I'm pretty sure it's the end of March so if we can recall him I presume we can do it whenever we want really I'm not really too sure how the loan to the National League North really work to be honest but thank you very much for watching today's video shout out to our current tier 2 channel member Dylan Broadhead and our current tier 3 channel member Member, B Davies 211. Have a great rest of your day, and I shall see you all tomorrow for the Doncaster Rovers at Home match day vlog. Peace.